Hi, my name is Henk Jankiewicz. I'm a nature and wildlife photographer. And you know, these days it's pretty tough for photographers. We can't go to places that we used to do. We can't travel anywhere. Normally I would be out in the fields with people taking photos of wolves or maybe cranes or whatever. But now we have to stay home. But there's also a good side to this coin. I think it made us realize that there's a lot of nature around our house as well. Places that you can easily reach just on a walking distance from home. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a blind in the bushes just a little bit away from home. So I can go there whenever I want to. But the first thing of course is to do that we have to do is to find a nice place for this hide. And I'm going to show you how to do that and where to put the hide. As you can see, the autumn colors are coming on the trees already. Leaves are turning to become yellow, maybe a little bit red in the later autumn. And I think it's going to be a very nice atmosphere to put up a blind somewhere and see if we can take some nice photos of wildlife around the house. It's um, quite a cloudy day today, but actually that's fine for me because what I'm looking for is a little open space in the forest where uh, lights coming through the trees, reaching the forest floor, so you can even take photos in a little bit more darker situations at the end of the evening or the early mornings. You never know what happens, right? So um, on a grey day like this, it's easy to find these spots and I think that we're going to have a good chance to find the right place to put up this photo blind. It would be great if we can find a place which is not too visible from the from the street or the path where people are walking. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a, a little spot somewhere just inside a small bush not too visible from uh, from the roadside and then uh, Hopefully we can leave the, the height standing for a couple of days, weeks. Actually uh, entering this little bush uh, right now. Quite a lot of branches on the floor, so we've got to look out. It's slippery, but uh, I think we'll be finding a really nice place for a photo hide somewhere in here. As you can see, we're now inside this uh, little bush. I really love it down here. There's uh, not many birds at the moment, but they will get there later in autumn and. Uh, Definitely in spring, or sorry, in winter, when I'm going to be uh, feeding them a little bit. And it's, um, it's a little bit half open. If you, if you look around, you can see that uh, there's some nice places over there, but it's not really the best place that I actually uh, want to put a bit by blind. But over there, there might be a place that looks like uh, what I'm looking for. Look, as you can see, it's a little bit more open. There's a more open space in there. And that might be a great place to put up my height. Just have to check whether the, the background uh, of the whole situation looks okay. My friends, I'm pretty happy. I think that we found the right place to put up a photo height. I can just put the hide behind this little tree down here and then if I look to the right there's a nice open space in the forest. We might even be able to see some road here and there if we're lucky. But the great thing is there's a nice open place in the forest over here. You can see the light coming through already. And the best thing is in the background 
is an old fallen tree and it's completely covered in hop. I think that we found uh, the right place in the forest. As you can see, it's a nice open space. There's enough light coming through uh, in here. There's beautiful background, old tree fallen down, hop leaves all over it, giving it a nice color. You can still see some flowers of the hop from this year uh, over here. And if I'm able to draw the attention of a, a buzzard or uh, well even if it's only like uh, titch or finches uh, I'd love that. I put up a nice branch over here put some food around so they will be coming and uh, I'll tell you a lot more about that later on. This was the first part of this video how to find the right place for a photo blind. Well like I told you I'm really happy found a great spot but I didn't mention, and I should not forget that, to keep on enjoying nature and take beautiful photos of it. See you next time.